Hey guys, sorry about that. Somebody called and was trying to catch it real quick. Okay. Back. Hey, David. I think I've got a blockage. Let's see. There we go. So if you can't see it on camera, there's a little bit of uh, like a powder blue up at the top. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of silver. And then the top and the bottom are going to be... Um... Yep, David, I'm going to paint a happy little tree. No trees. Actually, I'm not good at painting trees. So uh, no trees. So I'm just going to smear the bottom here with a knife. And then um, <clears throat> probably put a little bit of the gray in the top so that I can try to get a little bit of smoke at the top. Right now I'm trying to tip off this side here that I've kind of messed up. So I'm gonna have it come back down just a little bit. Let's see. So I'm gonna scratch all that off right there that's the blue part and see if I can keep the um, the gray and the gold part. It should be it should be thick enough to where I can just pick up the whole thing and tap it off on the counter. Is the only wispiness that I want showing the sky is a little bit of blue and gray. I'm going to try to get this teal back down here. And just use the knife to trail the paint across the canvas. So now I'm going to try to keep these from being so pointy. Um, I'm going to drag the knife through them um, and picture and pick up whatever color I get. It doesn't matter, um, but it'll help uh, create 
hopefully like little mountain tops. Something that'll look a little bit. We don't have a lot of pointy mountains like this. We, you know, in the Blue Ridge. So they need to be a little bit less jagged. Now, let's see. I'm going to take that light blue that I made, run this across the top in two streams if possible. Whoa! Maybe, maybe, no, I'll put a little gray in there. I want a very thin line of this gray. really just want it to look like um, mist. Okay, very good. Okay. Poor palette knife. It's a mess. Okay. So now I'm just going to skim across the top. Let's see. I think I'm going to smear those first. And then I will go across the whole thing. So we've got a little bit on an angle, kind of like with your icing cake, little cupcake. You know, you're trying to smear it across. But by doing this, it keeps some of the hard lines out of what you've just poured. Just gotta make sure not to stick my finger in the mountains. I lost some of that gray. I might have to go add some now. Still would like to get some of this off here. Okay. I'm going to take the plain white and put over it. And then see if I can smear it out like it's sky. So let's see. Yeah, I think I need to definitely do a little bit more of the silver because it looks very wispy and pretty. Hey, sorry, I got another call. Um, in the meantime, I was working on the clouds. Trying to make them a little wispier. Which I think the easiest thing would be just to... Where's my hair? Just got to clean this bottle out. Because it's got something stuck in the tip. Probably just a dried up paint chunk. Well, I'm trying to get the paint blown out of the tip there and I can't seem to get it. So, ugh, I think I got paint all over my face. Lovely. All right, let's try again with this. That might be it. Okay. Let's put the top back on and we'll give it a shot, see if it comes out. Just gonna run a little bit of white paint in between the gray 
really just want a misty look. I don't want, the metallics tend to spread in a bubble and that's not gonna look like a cloud or mist or anything. So if you don't go back and um, put a layer of some kind of color over them, uh, they won't smooth out. Uh, so. It will also create little bubbles um, in them. So I just want to kind of catch them before they make the bubbles. And really try to um, run a knife or run um, something through them to try to make them look a little bit more wispy. Oh, there's another glob. Okay, so now on the bottom, I'm just going to totally swipe over the bottom here. I do want these colors to mix in more. Um, I'll check in just a second see if you guys can see that on camera. I'm going to go back and put white over it. Because I just want it to be a hint. You know, just like snow and all that mixed. So, let's see. Let's get our white. Go back and forth. When this dries, you'll be able to see some of these lines that you're putting in when you're doing this. Okay. Get the globs out. Okay, let's see. How about a little bit, a little bit of gold? A little bit. A little bit of silver. load this area up when I'm mixing this in here. I'm going to redo the edge here uh, because I used this canvas before. There was a little bit of paint on the edge that I didn't get off. So I just want to thicken this edge. It will be the first to dry. And all along the sides here, I'm going to make sure to take this nozzle and really get all the way around, especially your corners, um, <clears throat> so that I'm not having any dry spots to clean up afterwards. It's hard to match the paint afterwards. Okay. So, so you can always take your nozzle and run it back and forth like this to mix some of the paints. I'm actually just squeezing a little bit of the white paint out as I go. I'm not sucking the paint back up. Check my other side here. Yeah, lots of holes. Lots of holes. Mostly at the bottom there. Okay. Alright, so let's clean this off again. I'm going to go ahead and run it along the sides a little bit. Just in the white paint, because then I'm going to go right on the top here. Just gently go across the paint. Just want to remove any harsh lines. Just want a little hint of what's going on up underneath this snow. And the lines don't have to be straight back and forth. They do need to be wiggled a little bit. 
you know, there's terrain up underneath there. And by just doing one small little wave here and there, it kind of smooths things out, but you also get those nice striations that indicate maybe land or hills or something up underneath there. All right, so up close, I can see a lot of little lines. Um, now, um, as the metallics start to come up, they are going to start causing some of the bubbling that you do, you know you wouldn't see in snow. So I'm going to go back through with the knife, try to pop some of those. Uh, some of the areas that aren't very thick, I'm going to go and add a little bit more white. I really want this to dry the same rate. Taking that knife back and forth, getting any globs, breaking up any bubbles, still trying to maintain um, the little undulations of what would be like maybe little roads and mountains and, or hills, I guess it would be at this point. Now I'm going to work my way up into the painting. And I'm just going to kind of saw back and forth in between these. Okay. And the knife is that much into the paint. And of course you can tip it more um, to get it out of the paint. I don't want to really want to drag the design too much, but there are areas that, you know, aren't natural. So if you break them up a little bit, it looks better. This area in general, I kind of want to get rid of. Um, I'm going to run the knife, kind of smooth these down a little bit, make my own little hill there, smear this off. Kind of windblown looking. Okay. Same thing over here. I've got this unnatural hill from where I tipped it. And just going to kind of go up, come back down a little bit. So essentially, I want to smooth these out a little bit. Just make them look like little small hills. I think I'm actually just going to put the nozzle in. Try to go disturb that paint. I'm going to try for a smear. Right now I'm going to try to pull this whole side off, probably about half an inch off. It's going to take time. And it's going to increase the pitch of some of the mountains. But I really don't like it and I want it stretched out. I think it will be more interesting. Now, let's see if we can pull this down a little bit.
I want the mountains to widen out a little bit too. I think they almost looked uh, too perfect on the, not perfect, but too similar, I guess would be the right word. I wish it had a bar in the middle, it would be easier to uh, manipulate this. It has one up the center, but I want one the other way. Mostly just white coming off right now. Um, trying to make the mountains look a little bit more wispy. Okay, okay so I'm happier with that. Um, this side I was able to bring down just a little bit. <clears throat> I think I might move this up a little bit. I think this is what's bothering me right here. I'm gonna put the knife in and try to shove that up. Okay, this, these clouds with the metallic did become a little bit swirly, so that's good. I do want to get rid of these bubbles though. So just running the knife through them, just kind of in a soft way uh, to make it look like there's mist and whatnot blowing over it. some of the white on the edges here, try to get it to stick. Kind of smear it in because it really didn't have much color in it besides the white. A little bit of gray maybe. Okay, so. I'm gonna go for one severe tilt. See what we get. I think it's, it's moving the stuff at the bottom too much. Oops. I do have paint just about everywhere now. somewhat happier with that. 